Well, good morning, guys. Today is the day I've decided let's take the 80 onto the beach. It's first drive ever off-road um, and there's a bit to do beforehand. So it's got no four-wheel drive at the moment because obviously it's electronic solenoid and I ripped the harness out when I did the motor. So I'm halfway through making my own little harness here to get the transfer case working. And if, fingers crossed, in the next hour or half an hour, we get the transfer case working, then bang, we're going on the beach. Alrighty, so I got real dodgy real quick because it's been probably two hours I've been buggering around with this thing. So I've literally hardwired directly to the solenoid because I got a feeling my transmission relay has been pulled out. That's why it wasn't working. So fingers crossed, this will work. So finally we are on the road. Um, I was super, super hungry. I haven't even had breakfast this morning and that took way longer than expected. So got a bit of Maccas to keep me going. But the plans have changed a bit because we left so late high tide. Well, high tide's pretty soon. It's at like four o'clock. Low tide was at 10 and it's like almost two o'clock now. So we're going straight up towards Rainbow. I'm gonna try and get in that way. If not, we'll have to do the fresh water track um, to go in at the high tide and um, see who we find. I mean, the boys are still on their way anyway, so a couple of the guys are there already, but we'll see who we find, but at least we can get this thing touching sand. That's all I want. It's to go on the beach, see what happens, maybe drop the ski in, and um, yeah, see how it handles the beach. I'm that excited. Oh, this is a skinny bridge. All right, on the road, here we go, freshwater track. Um, didn't lock the hubs in just yet because this is pretty hard the whole way. Once we hit the sand, we'll see how it goes, but put my tires down. I was gonna go 20, and I've been 15 because another new thing I haven't tried, apart from like the whole car, is um, these tires, the new Mark Ma tires, and the boys at Black Bear were saying they have a really strong sidewall, just so, you know, Kevlar wall, and they can handle a lot of punishment, but that means you really gotta put them down to get them to bag, so they weren't bagging much. So we've gone to 15, hopefully that's a good start. Might not have to go more. Good thing is, uh, we got bead locks. So we can go as low as we want, and they won't roll a tire off the rim, so. And this road is corrugated, that poor jet ski. Oh, it sounds like something's come loose. Alrighty, here's that real high-tech transfer case. What do we got here? Yeah. And then you wait for the, wait for the noise. Does that work? Go the other way. Yeah, okay, that's, that's the wrong way. You don't leave it on because it's a worm gear. And it, once it's engaged, that's it. So we should be in four drive now. Let's head to the beach. Going on the beach. Ah, look at that. That is boost for it to actually stay in the sand because I just want to 
see how it goes in the softer stuff. Watch temps and all sorts. Oh, that's not good, eh? Yeah, we, and we were talking about it as well. We were like, oh, because like it was making noise. We were like, yeah, oh, I was like, like oh, the, 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 the wheel's well, gonna like, fall. Oh, yeah, the wheel come off. Shit. And then, yep, yeah, just off. Oh. oh, good luck. See ya. Yeah. I don't even have a jack. So we have no jacks, nothing. The plan is they're just gonna dig. If you dig deep enough, the wheel will fit yeah, in the yeah, hole. Yeah. When the car doesn't go up, dig down. <laughs> we'll see how they go. Drones up. All right, we're going to get some drone shots. good i mean it's a light car there's no bar where rooftop tent or anything but with the ski on the back it's just a dead weight temp seemed pretty good um oil temperature though it's always been a bit high even on the road it's about 120 degrees now so i'm thinking oil cooler is going to be something i'll have to invest in but um yeah just take it easy today and it should be fine sand is soft though because the tide's up so we're not on the hard stuff let's find the boys We found them. I thought I'd be driving around for ages trying to find these blokes. Oh, it's not on fire for once. Let it cool down. It's gonna piss coolant. It'll do a wee. But yeah, I need a bloody oil cooler because the oil temps at like 130. Ooh. It starts breaking down at about 120. Yeah, feel the sweet. I hope so. <laughs> Not on fire. It's not on fire yet. <laughs> we haven't even seen this side that good before. Yeah, this side's mint, eh? Hey? You're not even taking notice of the day. I have seen the day. There's not a breath of wind on this side. It's great. Can we time for a beer? We made it. This is living. Probably the best we've ever seen this side, but we towed the ski all the way here, so we're gonna go around the other side and drop it in. This might be chaos there too. Some guys are getting stuck in the water because the tide's up. So we'll see if there's anyone stuck and uh, see what the go is. Probably a little bit soft.
Well, everything's still intact. Hooli dooly, what an epic day. The thing performed well on the beach. A couple things, obviously I want to put my coolant overflow bottle on because it's dropped a bit of coolant and I don't have that overflow tank. Um, but oil was getting hot. That was just something that kept coming back. So I need to put an oil cooler on it. But it ran good on the beach. I just gave it a ran then with um, the ski off. So without a trailer, it's so much better. Even in two-wheel drive, it can chop through anything. So super stoked with it. So first beach run, first off-road test. Ma maybe do some glassy so I don't know I don't, it's, it's not a rock crawler obviously so I don't want to go damage it and it's not built for that but I wanted it to be a beach babe and it's been perfect so need to throw a mattress in the back now and actually do a night camping um, but yeah this is just a good little shakedown run a bit of a day thing and uh, yeah if you enjoyed the episode subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one yeah <laughs>guys if you like this video make sure to click up here to subscribe to the channel click over here for our latest merchandise on our website and down below or to the side i'm not sure where it is is our last episode if you haven't watched it click on that to check it out see you guys